Today, I'd like to explain what is fire really explained at three different levels. First, six-year-old, then 12-year-old, then 20-year-old. First, for the six-year-old, fire is like a special kind of light and heat that happens when you burn things. When you see fire, it's because something like wood or paper is getting so hot that it starts to change into smoke, light, and warmth. Fire needs three things to keep going. It needs air, it needs something to burn like wood, and it also needs heat. If you take away any one of these, the fire goes out. Next for the 12 year olds. Fire is a chemical reaction known as combustion. It happens when a fuel like wood or gas reacts with oxygen in the air to produce heat, light, and various gases. This reaction creates a flame, which is actually lots of tiny particles of the fuel that are burning. The fire keeps going because the heat from the burning creates more heat, which can make nearby fuel hot enough to catch fire as well. This is called the fire triangle, fuel, oxygen, and heat. And without all three, the combustion process stops. And now for the 20 year old. Fire is the result of an exothermic chemical oxidation reaction involving a fuel source, an oxidizer, and an ignition source from the initial heat. When these elements are present, the fuel undergoes what's called pyrolysis or gasification, releasing volatile gases that mix with oxygen to combust. Now this combustion generates enough heat to sustain the reaction often reaching temperatures high enough to cause thermal radiation, which means that the light and the heat that we see comes out of the flame. Now, the flame itself consists of glowing particles from the fuel and the hot gases. The process can be described by the fire tetrahedron adding the chemical chain reaction to the fire triangle. The reaction continues until one of the components is removed or the chain reaction is inhibited, leading to extinguishment. Fire also involves complex dynamics like convection, which drives the speed and the spread of the fire through heat transfer, radiation, and can ignite distant combustibles. Understanding fire at this level includes knowing about different types of fires based on the fuel, like class A for ordinary combustibles or class B for liquids, etc., and how to manage or extinguish them based on their properties. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.